welcome back on my youtube channel and today we are going to look at customized alert dialog how to create a customized alert dialog and we are going to implement some on click listeners for example these two yes and no button we are going to implement them and we see how it how it works this is just a concept if you understand the concept then everything will be easy for you this is the image view this is a text view this is just our layout for the dialog dialog box and this is the app it should look like this this is show this is a button show dialog and when i click on it it shows the dialog and when i click on outside the dialog nothing happens it only exits if i click on backspace sorry on back button you see but you can still make you can still make it close you can still make it close you can still make it close if you want to be closed on outside the touch you can also do that and that is what we are going to look at so what we are going to do i'm going to leave the code in the description i'm going to leave it in the description you will download it but this is just an example what we are going to do we are going to create I have this image view here sorry I have this main activity where we have a button this button we have this button then we have a layout for dialog box which is here this is the dialog box in our this is this is what I'm going to leave in the description we have dialog box and this is the code from here you will copy from here up to up to here understand you will copy from here this is a dialog box you will come here let's just repeat the steps you will create a new new project you will create a new project empty views activity then next let me call it custom Cast, no let me call it a dialog box dialog dialog box the app name then i come here i select groovy build dot uh, and say finish It is taking some time it, it depends on your network our new project has finished then what you're going to do you're going to expand this and expand this and expand this we have the main activity which is this one and we have the main activity layout click here to show the code it is the code the code is here then we have in our resources we have the layout the main activity this one which is this one so what we need to do we have to put our we have to put our dialog box layout here right click on layout and say new layout resource 
make it the right dialogue underscore dialog box and say ok and say ok still initializing after then say split the code this is our code here now what you're going to do you come here and copy the this is dialog box code here from here you copy it up to here then say control c or copy then come here and say control a select all delete all and paste the code here control v you see you paste the code here this is our dialog dialog box then after creating your dialog box you are going to go to main menu then come here this is what this is activity main activity main main layout come here and this, this is activity main and select this code here this is just a button control c copy and this one you say control a select all delete that one and paste the code this is our code for main activity activity main then we go to our we go to our main activity this one you come here main activity dot java the code starts from here now let's leave this package name because now the package name is different what you can do or you can copy all or you can copy from here you copy from here going down up to up to here or you can you can copy from the package name from here up to down up to down then you say control c control c which means copy then you come here and you say control a and then the delete and you say control v now since we have different package name we are going to change this package name and set the package name to this you see then the error goes that is how we that is how you are going to do it so here we have our in the main activity in the main activity we have the button which is this one up compact button it is up compact that is what i used then we have the dialogue 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 here we initialize the dialogue dialogue is equal to new dialogue this and after you say initialize this the button find uh, find by view shop button this is the id for for the button then we have to set the on click listener for that button in the main activity this one then we create a method if you don't create a method it means you will have to put everything here you will have to put everything here inside this on click listener understand but to make it simple we just create the <coughs> we create the how do we call it a method show dialogue which is here and we put we say dialogue dot set this dialogue box 
dialog box this is the name for the dialog layout this one then uh, dialog touch cancel touch outside make it false if you don't want this dialog to be closed now let me use this one let me use this one if you don't want this this dialog to be closed by outside touch if you want it to be uh, to be closed by outside touch you are going to say true you put true you put true what happens if we, if we use true and and this one it is for making this background transparent here and here make it transparent uh, and this code here this one expands the expands our dialog and fits the window of the screen wait 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 you see from this side up to this side that's why we put this what happens let me first try this let me first show this if this one is true set cancelled on on touch outside what happens if it is true let's wait some time If it is true, when I click on outside, it goes, it cancels, it closes. If it is if it is false, it will not it will not close unless I click on the back button. So this one here, here we are initializing these buttons here. We initialize these buttons yes and no when in when you are initializing something on the dialog box you have to add this dialog dot find view by id you add this dialog then the on click listener i'm showing you can also say if you want to you can also say that if you press the no button or yes button then you can the dialog can close let me activate it in case someone presses the yes button it closes the dialog for example show the button show the dialog press yes you see if i put this dialog dot dismiss it will close dialog show dialog then yes it is pressed then dismissed understand that is how it works let me also leave this like that yeah this is how you can this is how you can implement customized dialog you can also play with this you can also play with this the way you want you can add more buttons you can change the image view the text the way you want that is how it is thanks for watching we meet in the next video.